Hey guys, what's going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama and there's a mess going on. So I'm actually organizing my whole entire house. I found out today that I am having my hysterectomy within the next week or two. So it's like nesting almost like, you know, when you, you're going to have a baby or something. So I started doing some stuff and so I'm actually getting really far. I'm bringing a lot of stuff from my garage inside. It's a little bit too cold for me to work in my garage. I get really a lot of joint pain. I'm um, sorry. When um, I get too cold, so I'm bringing stuff in little by little, hence all this in the background, to just organize it and put it away. I want my garage and my whole entire house spotless because I will be out of work for six weeks and I don't want to be in a house that's messy. I would rather just work on other things. So I had absolutely no intention on doing a video right now. None. You are literally piled on top of a box, then a blanket, then I have something flat on it, and then something behind it to hold my camera up because I forgot that I did not show you guys my first ever um, like church sale. So Oh my gosh, like, I am so excited to show you guys. And I was like, I'll just put it all away. I want to get it done. And then I was like, no, this stuff is too good. So, and I don't mean to keep messing with my hair, but it's gross. Like, I've been sweating all day, so I feel disgusting. But I, <clears throat> y'all, I've been worse, looking worse than this. And I refuse to take a shower and get all ready just to do a video. So, we're just going to bear with it. Oh, is my... Oh. Tell me, uh, like I said in my last video, if I was like all, you know, weird. Anyways, give me that. Okay, so this is all from one place. It was a church sale. I've never been to a church sale. I just happened to see it um, in kind of the old people town I work in, and I was ecstatic. So let's get started. These were a dollar, and I plan on doing like a snowman room in my house this year. So I got these little picks that I think are so cute. I may, um, so I'm, I put fake flowers out in front of my house in a thing like for every holiday season so that they look all pretty and stuff, like I grew them, yeah, right. But, so I might put these out there in it, I don't know, because you're not really gonna be able to see them, and so I think I'd rather see them in here, but I'm not sure. But I got three of these for a dollar. I really think that my phone is lagging. It's driving me crazy, but I hope not. Anyways, and then this was only a dollar. You guys, first of all, I would wear this 1,000% to work, but unfortunately, you know what, I'm gonna disconnect the Wi-Fi, hold on. Okay, hopefully that's better. It's driving me crazy. I feel like my mouth is not matching. I don't know. Anyways, you guys, this is so flipping cute. It was $1. It's handmade. It's just handmade with love. Four by. So somebody donated this. It was brand new. And I got it for a dollar. And um, Santa on the back. I might wear this. I don't know. That's me. Unfortunately, since I will be having my surgery. So every single year, during the Christmas, um, the Christmas time, I will wear something festive every single day to work. That's just me. But unfortunately, I will probably be out of work the whole entire Christmas time. So yeah. But the good thing is that I told my husband I have to decorate early because I won't be up to decorating later. So I'm ready. Oh, guys, that wasn't in one of my other hauls that I forgot to put in. I got it for two fifty because it was on the fence. So I got this for two dollars. What's that? Yeah, two dollars. First of all, I have three dogs. They're not this kind, but I don't care. And then look at the back. Oh my gosh, like I absolutely love this pillow. And actually my pit bull loves to sleep on pillows. I was thinking about giving him that and then I was like, maybe I'll just get him like a little dollar pillow and I'll keep that because it's cute. But okay, I'm gonna try to hurry because this is what I'm so excited. This is what I was like, okay, no, I want to go through them with him. On one of my other videos, I told you guys I got a lot of ornaments. And so I got a lot. So we'll go through all this, see where we're at and see if we have time for my whole ornament bag. So I got this, how much were you? 50 cents, 50 cents for this absolutely gorgeous little Santa man. I'm trying not to let it ding too, uh, ring too much because again, I'm in my front living room and my dogs, if you watched my video with the Tickle Me Elmo, it was atrocious and I don't want that to happen again. But how cute is this little like Santa mailman kind of guy? And look at his coat, like it's, I don't, yeah, it's so cute, I love him. So there's that. Um, I think I already put away the other one, but I got a Mr. and Mrs. Claus, um, I think I showed this in one of my other videos, the Mrs. Claus. So anyways, I got these at that thing for a dollar each. I will drink champagne or whatever in them. <laughs> I don't know. I picked this up. I want to push the button, but I'm not going to. Um, again, they are right there. Um, so it's Christmas Eve, holiday, radiance, illuminated glass ornament, powered by a mini light set. Um, there's a, there was a date on it, I thought. 
So a lot of this Christmas stuff, I don't know if I'm going to keep or sell because I love Christmas. Um, okay, I'm not going to spend all day. I thought there's... I thought there was a date. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Sorry. The stress is making me so that I'm having a hard time breathing again. My oxygen is fine. It's just when I get really stressed, um, I have to just take deep breaths for some reason. But here we go. These are the, this is the ornament. It is Santa and Mrs. Claus kissing. And when you push the button, they dance around. It is gorgeous. So I got that for a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. These church sales are my thing. Um, oh gosh, she almost fell. This right here, she had it out of the box. It's a holiday heirloom, handcrafted, individually signed, number dated. No idea. Um, store in a cool, dry place. Okay. Um, and I paid one dollar for it. Okay, don't get stuck. Hold on. Oopsie. So this is the ornaments, and it just says right here. I don't know who that is, but it's signed what, 1997. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love, like, these are 3D on it. So cute. Has, like, some paperwork and stuff in the bottom. I paid $1 for that. That one I might get rid of just because I'm not big on, like, the one ornament thing. It's like, I'm sorry, but not to be mean. What am I going to do with one? This one I'm totally debating about because I'm going to have a snowman room, and I feel like that is definitely what goes in a snowman room. I did pay $2 for this, and it's just an outlet warmer, home dormer office, Tuscany candle, and the only reason I'm debating I'm not keeping it is because I don't know if my dogs would lick the wax out of it. Like, and I feel like it would be like a 24 seven job. I mean, I could put it in one of the taller outlets, but in the room I want to put it in, there's no tall outlets. There's only, yeah. So I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it. I didn't think about that when I got it, but I think that my dogs would think they had a special treat and then I don't even know what would happen. Um, let me see, what is this one? So this is a little train. It's by Noel Holiday Candle Train um, from 1983. I just love that everything was in the box, but this is gorgeous. So it is a train, a little wooden train, it has all of its pieces and it says Noel. But let me bring out the L because you guys, look at who's on the L. How cute is this little guy? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. And you guys, the candles have not even been used yet. I couldn't believe it. I think I paid a dollar for this. Um. I'm pretty sure. It doesn't have a price tag, but I'm pretty sure I only paid a dollar for that. Maybe even 50 cents. Um, let's open this. I did go once and then come back again because, yeah. I picked this up. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I know that somebody made it. And it is a stocking, but it is an ice skate stocking. And, like, the blue on the top is very, like, a royal blue. It's gorgeous. The gold down it. It's got the skate, um, the skate things going down the front. I mean, it's gorgeous. I love it. So so pretty this stocking is gorgeous so i got that all the stockings were a dollar this is just so like vintagey and stuff i'm sure somebody made it recently i don't know um but i paid another dollar for this but look at the gorgeous i have always wanted to sew that's the one thing i've always learned wanted to learn to do and i'm telling you guys i can't i have googled it i have youtubed it i have everything to, and i can't um there should be a roommate to this person so these were 50 cents each uh-oh, did you, did I lose your arms in here? They might be in the thing. Did I even make sure he had arms? Oh my gosh, they did fall off. I'll re-glue them. Poor little fella. I need to be more careful. Um, so here is the little, like, singer boy. Guys, like, first of all, a little scarf and his little hat. And then we have the girl whose arms fell off. Um, but she has her little hat and scarf. Oh my gosh. And they're, like, little carolers. Gorgeous. 50 cents each. And they're wood. Stay there. Um... What is this? What is this? I did not take this out of the box because it looked a hot mess to take out. But I paid 50 cents for this. And it is like a Yule, Yule chimes. And all the pieces are in here. But what it appears is it's, um, it sits on your counter and it's this chime thing. And this is the plate. All the candles go on there. This centerpiece. And then all these pieces hang from it. And there's like the cherubs. They're gorgeous. But again, my dogs are not going. So these are the little cherubs. Here's this little guy. He goes on the chimes. Here's the little cherub. They go on the chimes. So all those for 50 cents. So I got that. Um, it says party bells. Um, okay. I'm trying to get it put away. I'm trying to see a date at the same time. 
Guys, I could have just got everything and just put it in my car, but yeah. I was driving my son's car and I can just see him like, uh, mom, why is so much in here? He doesn't have a date, but I think it's cute. And especially if my husband comes home right now, he's going to be like, what happened in here? So this was $1, but it's by Tupperware. And it's just this cute little thing. I mean, it's just a little container, a Christmas one with this cute little lid. So I just got it. I mean, there's no date. And if there is, there's, I am not seeing, like, my eyes have gotten horrible in the past month. My eyes and my hearing are horrible in the past month. But this is not scratched or anything, and I think it's gorgeous. So I got that for a dollar. I don't want to mess up him. So I got this for 50 cents, and he turns on. You guys, like, look at how beautiful this little guy is. And he works for 50 cents. So, of course, I had to get him. Um, this is just a little thing of watches and stuff. I'll show you that with the other things so that we can keep going. Let me see. I forgot I had this, so it's, like, a surprise for me, too. What is in here? Oh, so this is for me, not to sell. So this is the Eight Lights Luminaries, and I got this for $3, and it's tested, and it works. And it has... It has all of the bags and everything in there. So, and yeah, so it's C7 Luminary Bags. I really didn't care when it was from because I got this for me. But like I said, it was $3. You know, I don't know why I keep looking for dates on things. Like, people are going to put it on here. They're like, Amy's going to look for a date. We're not going to put one on here. But anyways, I got this for my outside yard. So I picked that up for $3. We will put this with my ornaments. Guys, I cannot wait for the ornaments. Let me, oh, oh, my feet. So, I found these nutcracker socks. Oh, gosh, guys, I'm sorry. My, I'm sitting on the tub. Like I said, I was not prepared to do a video, and I literally was sitting on the floor organizing everything. And then I was like, oh, let's do a video, and my feet are killing me. So, anyways, this just says pav rum pum pum pum. These are little drummer boy socks, but you know what this makes me think of? Um my favorite Christmas song and it's by I can't oh my gosh why can't I remember they make all the no, pentatonics oh my gosh like all of their music and everything is with their mouth and they sing the little drummer boy oh and I love it it's the most beautiful song so I got these for me to wear for 25 cents they are little socks and especially if I'm gonna be home guys I am going to be Christmas every day I say that I'll probably be sleeping for a little while but then I'll be good let me just go through everything and see what else we have in here. Okay. Well, I don't even know where I'm starting. So I got this. It's the Treasury of Christmas Stories. Hear me? Looking for a date again. 1987. But, oh no, I don't know who that is. Sorry, somebody was calling and messing up my video. So this is it, the Treasury of Christmas Stories. But guys, this still has the box. It's still inside the box and it has all the books. So this is the Nutcracker. Love it. The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus, A Christmas Carol, A Visit from St. Nicholas, A Perfect Christmas, and The Shoemaker and the Elves. And I have decided this year, my because we went to a store and I must have gotten like 20 books because they were 25 cents each. And my husband said, what are you going to do with all those? But they were Christmas books. And I said, you know... I just want a whole... Like, I want to use those as my decoration. Like, we have a big... Um, projector in our living room and I was like you know I just want to like put them under it so when we're watching the TV like we see all the Christmas books and maybe a candle and it's gonna be beautiful so yes that's what I'm gonna do so this is the story of my first Christmas and I got it for a dollar but you guys wait let's we have to look again 1994 but first of all well let's look at the back of this do you, I don't know if you can see it but you guys look at the inside of this so it opens like this and look at those pictures Oh my gosh, like they're all 3D. And so I told my husband, I said, maybe if I collect enough books, the kids will get the point that I need someone to read to. Because I will follow them around and read to my 17 year old and my 22 year old, and maybe they'll be like, oh gosh, we got to get someone in here to get mom off our back. So I got this for me, natural soap making. I have been wanting to make soap. This book is old as dirt, guys. Like this, I could have found something else. I am not a big find it on YouTube. It sounds weird because I'm on YouTube. But I'm so much better, like, looking in a book for something, like, with recipes and stuff. I'm much better with the book. Um, and this book is from, there's a date on this one, I promise. 
1999, yeah. So they may not have all the stuff in it still, but they will kind of. I mean, I just loved it. Like, just shows all the different things. I'll be home for a while, so I have to have something. So there's that. I found that. I hope my husband or my kids do not come home because, like, the door is literally right there, and I had no intentions on making this mess. I picked this up, and it's just a chat pack for kids, creative questions to ignite the imagination. They were a dollar, and the reason I got this is because we sit at the dinner table and eat every night, and we talk about our days and stuff, but I just thought this would be fun to, like, talk about sometimes. Um, I mean, like, to pick a couple things or whatever. And so, like, one of them is, if you had to come up with a new birthday tradition that would replace blowing out candles on a cake, what would you suggest as a new tradition? So I just thought that would be really fun for, like, us to all do at the table one night. We can do a couple, and it doesn't even have to be while we're eating. We love to play games, because I usually win. And this one says, if you didn't have any bones in your body, and so didn't have to worry about breaking any of them, what activity or stunt would you try that otherwise you wouldn't? I don't think I want my children to answer that one, because that would give them ideas. But... I don't know how many cards are in here, but they go this way and there's a lot. So I thought this would be really fun just to set on the center of my table. Oh, don't fall. Um, what else is in here? I got these and these were only $2, but they're so cute. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four. And look, they're like little beaded coasters. Oh, actually maybe ornaments. They have a thing. I think they were coasters, but maybe they are ornaments. But they're snowmen. And look at how small those beads are. I mean, it's crazy to me. So they have four in there, and I paid $2 for those. And then I think I am just going to do this last thing, and then I think the other video is going to have to be like a whole video. Because first I'm going to have to pick this up before my family gets home, and I have so many ornaments. Like, I have all of these in this whole box. And there's all kinds of little ones in them. So I'm going to do a whole new video on that one. So I hope you watch it. They are gorgeous. Like, I'm going to show you one of my favorites just to keep you guys. You guys, look at how cute. These are wine glasses. And they, like, put ornaments in them and made them into ornaments. Gorgeous. So let me clean up this mess. And I will be right back. And we'll go through the ornament. I have never opened the bags to actually see what's in them. I just look from outside. So we'll go through them together. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.